Hi, my name is Frank Valkenburg and I'm the LR product manager at Equinox MHA. And today I would like to show you the LR sorter and focus on the key benefits of the system. The LR sorter is our first fully modular sorter and it's characterized by its flexibility and its small footprint. Its modular design allows very short lead times, effortless installation and it's possible to extend the machine within just three days. Now the modular blocks are like Lego blocks. We can just click them together and they're interchangeable. They can be mixed and matched so that they can create the perfect layout for your specific case. Each module is two meters long. Trays move from the bottom to the top of the sorter and arrive in flat position for easy induction. The system design was to decrease as many components and variations as possible. This reflects in the bolt, which we call the Link Easy Bolt, which is basically a bolt and nut in one. You can find these throughout the entire sorter frame. Instead of 40 different types, we use just one type. Electronic cables can be connected easily in the cable box located on each model. The LR sorter comes with two types of infeed, the manual infeed and an auto infeed. Now the manual infeed can be equipped with handheld scanners and with screens. The auto infeed can accommodate one infeed belt and two or three correction belts. Now these correction belts can be connected with your existing or your brand new conveyor. There is also a scanner and there are barcodes inside the tray. If an item is in the tray, it disrupts the scanner beam and we know an item is inside the tray and we can track it throughout the system. This is a method for scanning even the tiniest items in the tray. Our standard installation includes a scan section. Now the scan section can accommodate Omni scanners. An Omni scanner identifies the item and allocates the destination. In this section we can also dimension in the tray. This is the switch section the heart of the machine. The switch section is fully electrical like the rest of the machine so it doesn't need any air supply. Now the switch works like a train track. There is a track on the switch block that grabs the wheel and it pulls the tray either to the left or to the right. Now if the tray needs to be on the other direction then the switch with the track moves to the opposite side. After the switch section come the outfit sections. Now the outfit sections always supplied with a wooden slide plate. We can connect the wooden slide plate with all kinds of exit mediums such as carton boxes, roll containers, pallet boxes or chutes. Now there are three different chute pitches. The smallest one is 500 mm, the middle one is 667 mm and the largest one is 857 mm. That one is used for instance for pallet boxes. The two smallest chute pitches, the sorter runs at 6000 trays per hour. If you go to the large chute pitch, the 857, then the sorter runs at 8000 trays per hour. Now the two end chutes on the left and the right side we always allocate as reject chutes. And we arrived at the final section of the machine, the drive. It's called the drive because here is the engine that drives the chain. Trays move via the bottom to the beginning of the sorter again. If an item gets stuck inside the tray for whatever reason and it's not dispatched at the reject chute, then it will be exited here into a bin. Now you can enter that bin via a door in front of the machine. If you open the door, the machine will stop automatically.